what's up guys, Kevin here, and today we're going to be changing the rear brakes on the Supra. We're going to be going to NA brakes instead of the twin turbo brakes so that I can run the 15 inch drag radial type rims in the back. Uh, they're the Weld S7-1s, which I'll be showing you guys in another video when I go ahead and install those. But let's go ahead and get started and change these brakes out. So here we are at the brakes. We already got the wheel off. And we already loosened the two 17 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper on. So before we take them all the way off, it'll be a lot easier to break this banjo bolt loose, which is a 14 millimeter. Just give it a little tap and it'll come loose. It is going to drip a little bit, so get yourself a little bucket under there. And be mindful that there are two little washers on here, which you will see shortly. Try not to drop it in your bucket. It's going to be one on either side of your brake line. So there they are, one there and one there. So let's set these aside. Go ahead and uh, clean your fingertips off with a handy rag. I'm going to go ahead and take these bolts out the rest of the way, which like I said, already broke them loose, already loosened them up. So they'll come out by hand. And the second one. wiggle it off and that's it for the caliper set that aside and uh, see how this rotor is kind of stuck on there that happens from time to time uh, make sure your handbrake is down because the handbrake deploys inside of uh, this right here it's got like the uh, what do you call them, the horseshoe or whatever type brakes, I can't remember what they're called, if that's what it's called. But um, yeah, so if this happens, I'll bring you around to the front to show you what to do. Alright, so if the rotor's stuck on there like it is, on uh, the Supra and most cars, I've got an aftermarket diff in here, so it's a little clunky, but uh, there's going to be two threaded holes, and that's so that you can put bolts in, to kind of pull this off. So get a couple long 12 millimeter bolts, thread them in by hand, and the threads might be messed up on these, like this one's a little messed up, but we'll just go ahead and work them through. And uh, just slowly go back and forth. There you go, popped right off. So now, we'll go ahead and loosen them. Let's see, that wasn't too bad. So uh, these, um, can't think of it off the top of my head now that I'm on the spot, but I think it's, uh, horse shoe clamp something like that I don't, I don't remember whatever they're called somebody in the comments can uh, say what they are I don't remember off the top of my head they're pretty worn but I'm just gonna spray them down with some brake cleaner and uh, just have cardboard underneath wipe some of the crud and debris from the road out of here and uh, go ahead and throw the NA rotor on oh drum brakes right I can't I can't remember yeah I think that's what they're called drum brakes Slap it on there, and then we're going to go ahead and take our NA brake, which already has the uh, pads in there because they came off of my buddy's car. Going to depress them a little bit and uh, uh, make sure, which I said on the other side, but make sure the uh, valve is always up, the bleeder, bleeder valve, so that you can actually bleed it properly so your brakes aren't all spongy. I'm going to slide that that bad boy on there take our bolts
good and tight. And we'll go ahead and put this banjo bolt in. Once again, make sure your little washers are cleaned up. Make sure there's no sand or anything on them. One washer stays on the bolt as it travels through the brake line. The other washer goes on the other side, gets sandwiched in there. And remember, you don't want to put this too tight, so just snug it, and then a little bit of a turn, and that's it. They strip out really easily, so that is it, guys. Alright, next up, guys, is bleeding the brakes. I just usually stick a little hose on there and some cardboard and something on the bottom to catch it. And uh, you have somebody sit in the car for you and pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. <laughs> and then go ahead and hold the brakes. Oh, wrong way. Uh. Oop, air came out. Pump the brakes. Hold the brakes. There's some liquid came out. Go ahead and pump. Hold. Pump. Hold. Oh, oh boy. Pump. Hold. Alright. So you're also going to want to check and make sure the uh, brake master is topped off. And when you're good with this side, you have a nice flow of fluid coming out without air pressure coming out like it did the first time there. You go ahead and move to the farthest side, which would be the uh, passenger side in this case and do the same thing over there and make sure you keep topping off the master cylinder as it gets lower and you'll pretty much be good to go. So now you've got your NA brakes on your Supra and you can run your 15 inch rims so you can run whatever size drag radial you want. Thanks for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. I'll have the link down below and please check out my other videos and you have yourself a very nice day.